Astronomers tracking 3I Atlas say it has altered its course, worrying scientists about its close proximity to Earth. The first signs of something unusual came from the PanSTARRS Observatory's nightly sky survey when a dim, fast-moving speck of light appeared in a region of space where no known object should have been. It was quickly identified as 3I Atlas, a rare interstellar visitor passing through our solar system much like Oumuamua and Borisov before it. But just as astronomers began to track its path, a sudden anomaly occurred. A bright flare of light erupted near the object, followed by a violent distortion in its trajectory. Within hours, telescopes around the world confirmed the unthinkable. Something had destroyed part of 3I Atlas, and what remained of it was now veering directly toward Earth. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The destruction was unlike anything ever recorded in celestial observation. 3I Atlas had been on a stable hyperbolic path, one that would have carried it safely out of the solar system after a brief, distant pass. But the explosion, if it could even be called that, wasn't consistent with a collision or a natural breakup due to internal stresses. The energy signature captured by infrared instruments showed a spike of exotic emissions, patterns that didn't match any known chemical or nuclear reaction. Instead of dispersing into harmless fragments, the remaining mass of the object appeared to consolidate, reforming into a dense, coherent core that began accelerating unnaturally. Scientists at the European Space Agency were among the first to sound the alarm. The calculations were clear. The altered course wasn't random. 3I Atlas was now on a direct inbound vector with Earth's orbital plane, and the shift had occurred so abruptly that gravitational influences alone couldn't explain it. Something, or someone, had exerted an external force on it, and whatever that force was, it had not only shattered part of the object, but appeared to have imbued it with new momentum and direction. Deep space monitoring stations scrambled to gather more data. The U.S. Space Surveillance Network reoriented several of its ground-based radar systems toward the coordinates of the object. Early telemetry suggested that 3I Atlas was now tumbling, shedding small fragments as it rotated, each glowing faintly as though ionized. The spectral analysis of those fragments revealed traces of elements rarely found in natural bodies, osmium isotopes, metallic hydrogen signatures, and, most disturbingly, structured emissions consistent with engineered alloys. That finding ignited a wave of speculation across the scientific community. Was 3I Atlas not entirely natural to begin with? For decades, astronomers had debated whether interstellar visitors could be more than just random debris flung from other solar systems. Oumuamua's elongated shape and non-gravitational acceleration had sparked theories of alien technology, but 3I Atlas was different. This wasn't just behaving oddly. It had been changed. The impact event, if that's what it was, left behind an object that defied explanation. Even the reflected light curves were strange. Instead of fading as it spun, they pulsed rhythmically as if energy were being emitted in timed bursts. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, teams began cross-referencing all available data from the Deep Space Network and the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. The signals coming from 3I Atlas contained narrowband fluctuations embedded in its electromagnetic signature, patterns that, at first glance, resembled encoded transmissions. These were not random bursts of radio noise, but sequences repeating with mathematical precision. When plotted on a spectrograph, they form geometric harmonics, the kind of structure that nature almost never produces spontaneously. In the midst of this, the astronomical community found itself divided. Some insisted that the anomaly was purely physical, a bizarre chain reaction from internal stresses and volatile compounds within the object. Others, however, began to entertain a more unsettling hypothesis, that something external had interacted with 3I Atlas intentionally. As the days went by, new observations deepened the mystery. The object's albedo began to change, its surface reflectivity shifting across wavelengths in a controlled gradient. It was as though its surface were reconfiguring, absorbing certain frequencies and reflecting others. Space telescopes captured faint, symmetrical bands glowing across its hull-like exterior reminiscent of circuits or ridges. If it was a remnant of an alien probe, perhaps it was awakening. If it was natural, then it was the strangest natural object ever recorded. When the first orbital simulations confirmed that the altered path intersected with Earth's orbit in less than six months, urgency gripped every major observatory on the planet. The International Astronomical Union convened an emergency session. Data from Japan's Subaru Telescope and the Atacama Array corroborated the trajectory. The precision of the change was chilling, 
It wasn't a chaotic tumble into Earth's path, but a narrow, deliberate arc. The vector correction was too clean, too mathematically elegant to be accidental. As scientists raced to understand what had happened, attention turned to the moment of destruction itself. High-resolution images from ESA's Gaia spacecraft revealed a secondary object emerging from the flash, small, angular, and rapidly accelerating away from the debris field before vanishing. It didn't behave like a fragment, it moved with control, as if maneuvering. This led to a stunning possibility. Something may have struck 3i Atlas on purpose, either to disable it or to alter its mission. Whatever did this left behind a chaotic wake. The main body of 3i Atlas was no longer emitting constant radiation. Instead, its emissions came in waves like a dying star gasping in intervals. The pulses followed a Fibonacci timing pattern, an arrangement so distinctive that it could not have been random. Radio telescopes picked up those pulses in the microwave band, faint but structured, traveling outward through the solar system like a cosmic beacon. Astronomers compared the incident to nothing else in recorded history. Even in cases of comet fragmentation, like Shoemaker-Levy 9 or Comet schwassmann wachmann there had never been a reconstitution of mass afterward, nor had an object accelerated without a visible propulsion mechanism. The implications were staggering. If an artificial intelligence or autonomous construct was embedded within 3i Atlas, then its destruction might have been a transformation, a shift from dormant to active state triggered by the impact event. Governments began taking notice. Military satellites that normally tracked orbital debris were quietly redirected toward the object. Leaked documents hinted that the U.S. Space Command had designated the phenomenon as a potential high-interest anomalous vehicle. Radar pings from classified installations detected a faint magnetic resonance emanating from 3i Atlas, consistent with superconductive materials. This was no ordinary asteroid, it was something far more advanced, something possibly alive in the technological sense. As more data poured in, a clearer image of its composition emerged. The object's remaining mass was roughly 120 meters in diameter, small enough to be a probe, large enough to cause catastrophic damage if it collided with Earth. Its energy emissions fluctuated in the terahertz range, producing an interference pattern that disrupted nearby telemetry equipment. Deep space probes within several million kilometers reported momentary system resets and anomalies in data transmission. Something about the object was radiating interference as if defending itself. Scientists speculated that the destruction might have been the activation of a failsafe, some mechanism built to prevent external tampering. If 3i Atlas had indeed originated from another civilization, the energy burst could have been an automated defense or even an awakening process. Perhaps the entity that struck it had triggered a reaction it couldn't control. Telescopic observations showed that the object's rotation rate stabilized after the initial chaos. Its axis of spin locked into alignment with its new trajectory, pointing directly toward Earth. The motion was so exact it mimicked guided navigation. Meanwhile, the frequency of its pulses increased slightly every day, like a countdown accelerating. Astrophysicists struggled to interpret it. Was it broadcasting a distress signal? A warning? or was it scanning the solar system for targets or data? Space agencies debated whether to attempt contact. Some argued for transmitting a response using encoded mathematical sequences. Others warned that doing so might invite consequences humanity wasn't ready for. The debate grew heated behind closed doors, with the world's most powerful observatories caught in the center of a mystery that blurred the line between science and the unknown. The idea that an alien artifact had entered the solar system had long been relegated to speculation. Yet here was evidence that not only might such an object exist, but that it could alter its own trajectory, emit structured signals, and survive violent disruption. The laws of motion themselves seemed to be challenged by what was happening. Even as astronomers attempted to predict the exact path of 3i Atlas, the object defied every model. Tiny fluctuations in its motion couldn't be explained by gravitational forces alone. They appeared to be micro-thrust corrections, deliberate and precise. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on the object destroying 3i Atlas's path? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.